Is Kyobu Masataka on you? As I breathe, you will not pass the castle gate! I know what you're thinking. You're thinking nothing this guy does will ever be as hard as the way he just introduced himself. But you would be wrong, because I'm about to engage this man in fight. This is Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, and I am Saint Riot. How did you know what I was thinking, Saint Riot? Are you psychic? <laughs> no, that just happens a lot, because I'm so smart that I am able to read the common man or woman and understand what they are thinking when they are thinking it. And that's the sort of brain power that is necessary to engage with a game like Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Now, this game has sparked a large debate, so I'm going to just hop right into it. Is this game too hard? Does it need easy mode? Yes, this game is too hard for you, and you should take my word for it, because I upload videos on YouTube, and it's a pretty big deal. Three years ago, I started uploading videos to discuss Dark Souls 3 player versus player, and in particular, the invasion mechanic, because people said it was too difficult and not fun. Does that sound familiar? Well, it should. Now here we are, and after reading thousands of YouTube comments, I have decided to just skip all the bullshit and say, yes, this game is too hard, it's too difficult, it's not fun, and you won't like it. Now, you might ask yourself, but Saint, you're making this look pretty easy, and you're not even using the Shinobi prosthetic. I am not. Even though I know that I could use the firecrackers on this boss for extra benefit. How do I know that, you ask? Well... I unlocked a secret cutscene. How did I do that? Well, I was walking by that guy and I saw a prompt on my screen. So, the first thing I did was see a prompt on my screen. And then the next thing I did was read it and it was telling me to press a button. So I saw a prompt, read it, and then pressed a button. That's right, I did three things. Three things is a lot of things. You could never hope to do that. So don't even bother playing this game. Now the reason I'm not using the prosthetic is twofold, like a katana, or how many times a shadow dies. One, it's just fun to fight all the bosses with just the katana, and not quote unquote cheese them. Uh, and two, because I want to collect all of the lore descriptions on one character, and in order to do that, I have to not make any of the shinobi prosthetic tools. So that's where I'm at. Now, you might be thinking, why on earth would you make a game like this even more difficult? And to tell you the truth, the answer is that my heart is full of hatred and void. You see, I'm an elitist gatekeeper. I'm a member of the toxic get good culture. I don't want people who were born differently to be able to play this game. I believe in eugenics. All of this is true. Olay motherfucker, I'll parry a bull. I'm also a shinobi matador. Now. I recently interviewed Hidetaki Miyazaki and I said, did you make this game inaccessible on purpose? Did you want people uh, who have motion impairment um, or, or, you know, mental impairments to not be able to play your game? And he looked me right in the eye and he said, that's exactly what I want. He said, I do want that. And then I looked out and I interviewed literally all of the culture and I said, do you guys want that? And they all said, yes, we're all literally Hitler. How do I play this game, you ask? Well, I'll tell you, but you won't be able to understand. I press the attack button until I am deflected by my opponent and then I deflect and dodge their attacks until it's time for me to start attacking again. Now, I know that right now your peon mind is melting, literally incapable of even making sense of the syllables that came out of my mouth and hearing them as even words, much less understanding the meaning that I'm trying to convey to you. That's how stupid you are, and that's how smart I am. I know I'm making this look easy by beating these bosses by pressing one, two, three, sometimes four buttons, but it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Think about that. I'm pressing up to four buttons. Could you ever press four buttons? Over the course of even a lifetime, would someone with your mental intellect be able to press four buttons? I seriously doubt it. You just don't have what it takes. This is why I saw your mother crying in her bedroom and I said, what's wrong? And she said, I'm crying because I wish my child had your genes. And I said, it's funny, I just talked to your child and they told me the same thing. Later that night, I went and got a Ouija board 
And who did I talk to? I talked to your father's dead honor. Your father's honor is dead because you got on Fextra Life to try and look up how to cheese bosses. I'll tell you what we can and can't do. What we can't do is bring back your father's honor. It's dead forever. What we can do is make me your new Sekiro daddy. I can be that ubermensch who comes down from the mountain and shows you that I am capable of pressing four buttons at a time. Look, I understand. I know. If I was to remove your brain and keep it alive in some sort of vat or jar or, or, or some sort of fish tank with, with chemicals, formaldehyde or, or electrodes, look, I don't know how it would work. I'm not a neuroscientist. I'm not a brain surgeon. I'm just a guy who's good at Sekiro. But if I were to do that to your brain and keep it alive somehow, then let's say I fed it methamphetamine and for 1,000 years I kept your brain operating at 100% peak efficiency. Over the course of 1,000 years, your brain would not ever come one second closer to understanding how I make playing Sekiro look this easy when it is in fact so, so goddamn hard. So now I find myself embracing a new challenge. Can I be that man? Can I be the one who comes down from the mountain? Can I be the elitist gatekeeper? Can I be the mob mentality of get good toxic culture? And can I explain to you how I do it? The answer quite simply is no. And there's no way for you to do it without an easy mode. But there is good news. I am on youtube.com slash the internet. I am on twitchstream.com slash tv the twitch stream. You can come and you can pay me money. You can click my ads. You can press my like button. You can smash my subscribe. You can ring the bell. You can use my emotes and send me bits. And I will use all of that to show you how a person like me is able to do the thing that you never could dream of doing. Beating Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. So, allow me to show you how it's done. Look, I'll be honest, a part of me wishes I was like you. I wish I had the white picket fence, the house with the kids and the dog. I wish I had all that, but I don't. I had to break up with my girlfriend. I had to disown my family. I had to tell all of my friends that they were dead to me because that's the sort of sacrifice that is required to press four buttons over the course of a video game. You might say, doesn't your heart hurt? Haven't, haven't you made your life hard enough already by playing this game? Now you've made it even worse by losing your friends and loved ones? And the answer is yes. I need an easy mode.